I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have made this sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, our refuge in trials, our strength in sickness, our comfort in sorrow, spare your people, we pray that though rightly chastised now by affliction, they may find relief at last through your loving mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a world that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I give my back to those who beat me. My cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My face I did not shield from the face and speaking. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I have not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not to put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right, let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put God in my food, and in my thirst they give me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify with him thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, 
may your hearts revive, for the Lord hearts the poor, and his own horn bands and springs out. Lord, we read love and joy. Verse before the gospel. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to this love. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, he who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Morning to all of you. Today is the Wednesday of the Holy Week, and we call this Wednesday as Spy Wednesday. S P Y, Spy Wednesday. Because today, yung nangyari is nakipal konchaba, no? naging espiya si Judas para sa mga pariseyo at skriba na gusto nilang ipapatay si Jesus. That's why this is called the Spy Wednesday. And this Wednesday is also the last day of the Lenten season. Tomorrow, Holy Thursday, and then Good Friday, and then Black Saturday, ang tawag natin doon ay Easter 3 to 1. Hindi na siya parte ng Lenten season. That's why today is the last day of the Lenten season. The 40th day of the Lenten season. Ngayon nagtatapos yung preparations na ginawa natin na nag-start tayo noong Ash Wednesday. So we started with Ash Wednesday. We ended with Spy Wednesday. This is the last day. So yung 40 days na preparation na ginawa natin Ito yung uh, paghahanda natin para sa Easter Tito na papasok tomorrow. The holiest of all the days in the whole year. Yung tatlong araw na ito. Kaya ginagawa din ba ng gobyerno, walang pasok para makapagsimba yung mga tao. Kaya lang nangyayari, nakaauti. No? But these days, starting tomorrow, are the holiest of all the days in our calendar as Christians. That is why, ganun na lamang yung ating uh, preparation para sa tatlong araw na ito. nag tayo ng 40 days para lang mayahanda natin ang ating mga sarili for the coming holiest of all the days of the year. If we will go back to the first day of the Lenten season, Ash Wednesday, we were asked by the church, we were asked by the Lord to prepare 
And what kind of preparation ang tinanong sa atin? Ang sabi sa atin, we should prepare ourselves with three things. Tatlong bagay. Ang sabi sa atin, we should pray, we should fast, and we should give almsgiving. Itong tatlong bagay na ito dapat yung yung pinalakas natin o kaya yung dinagdagan natin for 40 days. So, if this is the last day, ibig sabihin, this could be the evaluation day. So, kung tatanoyin ko po kayo isa-isa, kamusta naman yung prayer, yung fasting, and yung almsgiving natin for 40 days, nag-improve pa tayo nag-develop pa tayo after 40 days. Konti lang naman tayo, isa-isahin na natin, you know? Interviewin natin isa-isa, joke lang. You know? Pero, how is our prayer life now? Kamusta ang ating prayer life? We say that prayer is not just talking to God, speaking to the Lord. Ang pagdarasal ay hindi lamang pagluhod upang humingi at magsalita sa Panginoon at sabihin, Lord, ito ang gusto ko. That is not just prayer. That is just one part of prayer. But the most important part of prayer is this, that we listen to the Lord. At ang sasabihin natin, Lord, ano po ang gusto mong sabihin sa akin ngayon? What is your message for me today? That is prayer. We want to listen to the Lord. Kamusta na ang ating pakikinig sa Diyos? O baka after 40 days, tayo pa rin na nagsasalita sa Panginoon at nagsasabi sa Kanya na, Lord, Ikaw ang makinig sa akin. After 40 days ba, have we trained our ears? Have we already trained our hearts to really listen to the message of the Lord to us? Prayer. Fasting. How is our fasting? Ang fasting, hindi lang mang ginagawa, alam natin, hindi lang mang ginagawa sa pamamagitan ng pagbabawas ng kinakain. Maganda yun, pati sa katawan. Di ba? But fasting really is doing away from the things that we really love to do. Ano yung gustong-gusto mong gawin na kala mo hindi ka mabubuhay kapag hindi mo ginawa? What is that thing? Maybe, pagbubukas ng Facebook, pag sa social media, sometimes yun ang pinakagusong-gusto natin gawin. O kaya yung matulog buong araw, di ba? Yun ang gusong-gusto natin gawin. Pero, what are those things that we try to go away para masabi natin na, Lord, iaalay ko muna ito. Magpapakahirap muna ako ng kaunti. Ano ba naman itong kaunting hirap na ito kumpara sa hirap na dinanas mo para sa amin? Fasting. And the third is almsgiving. Kung nakapagbigay pa talaga tayo after 40 days. Pagbibigay, yung pagbibigay na hindi nagagaling doon sa sobra natin. Yung sobra, yung surplus na meron tayo, hindi masyadong masakit yun. Pero yung kailangan natin, pero binigay ko pa rin. Yun ang tunay na pagbibigay. Kasi nasaktan tayo o nahirapan tayo. Have you truly given during these 40 days of Lenten season? Again, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the end of the Lenten season. And hopefully, we have really prepared for these holy days that are coming. Na-prepare natin ang ating kaluluwa, naihanda natin ang ating mga puso sa tunay na pagtanggap natin sa Diyos. Pero, what if nasabihin natin sa Panginoon, Lord, nasaya ang 40 days. Dumaan na naman yung 40 days, yung Lenten season na parang wala lang, katulad lang ng mga ordinaryong araw, katulad lang ng mga ordinaryong mga taon na dumaan ang Lenten season. Kung nasayang lang ulit, at wala tayong nagawa ang mabuti, then we will be like Judas. Si Judas, for three years, he has been with Jesus. 
for three years, he has been eating with Jesus. For three years, he has been a witness of the miracles. He has been there firsthand. Naikita niya mismo yung mga milagro, yung turo ni Jesus. Siya mismo nakarinig with his own ears kung ano ang mga sinabi ni Jesus. And yet, after all these years, anong nangyari? Parang wala. Dahil he cut his relationship with the Lord, he sold the Lord with 30 pieces of silver. At sinasabi natin, ano nangyari? Nasaya. Yung mga araw, yung mga taon na nagdaan. Sa anak, itong Lenten season na ito, na dumaan din sa atin, sana hindi nasaya. But what if nasaya? Yung bang hindi naman din talaga tayo nagdevelop. May this become a lesson for all of us na ang ating, ang ating everyday connection with the Lord, we always find those connections. We can always find those moments that we can give, that we can pray, and we can offer something for the Lord. Let us not waste our days. Let us not waste our time doing nothing. But let us spend all our days for this coming holy days. And let us for the holy days for the coming of the Lord into our own lives. Let us all stand. As we approach Good Friday with confidence in our loving Father, let us recall the saving action of Jesus, His servant. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer and trust may receive God's comfort through a clean conscience. Let us pray to the Lord. That our own sufferings may strengthen our faith in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. That those among us who are putting off making their confession because of pride, fear, or laziness may come to the realization of the need for God's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. That the sick and all those who suffer may experience the healing presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died may share in Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. In special manner, we include in our intentions for the total eradication of the virus in this world, for the healing of all those sick, and for the safety of all our frontliners. Lord God, you gave us the example of your Son to show us how to live and die. Grant us the faith we need to follow Him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed our Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let it be done for us. Blessed are the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual way.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord Jesus, for the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, who stands in the heavens. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, who stands in the heavens. You are indeed the Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we believe in this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death to the Lord and give you the Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and form the divine teaching we dare to sing. Oh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be thy honor, and it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the freedom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only the Lord and my soul shall be given. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. God our Father, we come to you in our name to ask for protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has made you lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace, for the most faithful trust with standing the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, of stealing the tide of its transmission, by the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sea with confidence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to, the, to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted may be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all, and to so love those we need. Grant this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son. 
who lives and reigns with you, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, in your Saint Send your faith to our angel, in your eyes. Send your eyes, in your eyes. Send your eyes, in your eyes. Send your eyes, in your eyes. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience help in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Good morning.